Okay, continuing with uh, chapter 5.4, evaluate the integral x squared plus 3 over x quantity squared from 2 to 3. Uh, once again, the first thing I'm going to do is verify that this function here is defined for all values on this interval make from 2 to 3. Uh, the only thing going on that would be any type of like red flag that, hey, might, there might be some undefined is this 3 over x. 3 divided by 0 is undefined, but 0 doesn't lie on the interval from 2 to 3. So it's, it's a legal function. We can go ahead and um, integrate it. Uh, the other thing I noticed is 3 over x, that structure is not a good um, anti-differentiation structure. So I'm going to write that as um, x squared plus 3x to the negative first, the quantity squared. Like so. So in general, differentiation or integration, power structures are better than rational structures. Division of x is not as good as x to negative power. Um, and what you'll notice here is that we have that um, forbidden, that x to negative 1 power. That if we recall this rule that says we have x to the n, um, that it's, it's x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1, as long as n does not equal negative 1. Negative 1 is bad because negative 1 plus 1 is 0, creates division by 0, right? to the 0 over 0, how do we deal with that, but, um, or x to the 0. But notice that this is not what we're in, um, integrating. We're integrating this to the second power. So now if I go ahead and square this binomial, I'm going to get x to the fourth plus 6x squared. That's, I'm sorry, 6x to the first. If I multiply these together, I get 3x to the first. Double it, I get 6x to the first. And if I square the second, I'm going to get plus 9x to the negative second. And now I'm looking at a polynomial structure with x's to powers of 4, 1, and negative 2, none of which are negative 1. So now um, integration by normal means is legal, and we're going to go ahead and do that. So um, this term here, the antiderivative is x to the fifth over 5. This term here, the antiderivative is 6x squared over 2, better known as 3x squared. And this term here, the antiderivative is 9x to the negative 1 over negative 1. And we're integrating that starting at 2 going up to 3. So if I start evaluating this, first of all, is everybody okay with this, um, this green term? Let me just write it. Minus 9 over x the same as 9x negative 1 over negative 1. That's a little prettier, right? So if I erase this, Slide that right up there. It's a bit nicer structure to evaluate. So first I want to substitute the number 3 in to this expression. So we have 3 to the fifth power, which is 243 over 5, <coughs> plus 3 times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27, minus 9 divided by 3, which is just 3. And I, I just substituted 3 for all the x's, and I end up with those three values. If I put 2 in for each of those, and I'm going to subtract this one, uh, 2 to the fifth power is 32, so 32 over 5. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is plus 12, and then 9 over 2 is just going to be minus 9 halves. So just like that, I get all these terms, just nice little fractions or whole numbers. And then finally, uh, common denominator of all this stuff is 10. So I would just probably make the common denominator 10 right now and do whatever is necessary. So times 2 times 2, that would be 486. Times 10 times 10 is plus 270. Uh, times 10 times 10 is going to be minus 30. And then this minus is distributing as I go through. So 2 times 2, uh, it's going to be minus 64. Times 10 is going to be minus 120. And times 5 times 5 is going to be plus 45. So if I add up all the positives and add up all the negatives on top, let's see. 486 plus 270 is like 756 plus 45 is like 801, I hope. And then uh, 30 plus 64 is 94 plus 120 is negative 214 over 10. And 801 minus 214, 587. So 
187 tenths would be the answer to that. Most of that's just calculation, right? So just arithmetic. The calculus happened here, uh, from here to here. That's the only calculus step. So a um, little bit of algebra here, a little bit of algebra here to get the calculus problem to a workable structure. The calculus occurred, and then it's just arithmetic or just evaluating an expression. So um, hopefully this step's pretty simple. It's just polynomial structure. So um, the calculus step hopefully is not difficult as long as we do the correct algebra to get us to that simple phase.